Hey cats, what's happening? Welcome to another exciting episode with Itchy Mochi and V. V's not going to be in this one. Just me, your friend Itchy. You can call me Mark if you like. You know, one of the things I do in the evening, after everything else is all said and done, it's time to unwind and relax. I sit right here in my chair. I got a nice leather, you know, like office chair. Uh, high back. It's comfortable. I can tip back in it if I want, take a nap or a siesta. Um, and I can also do my computer thing. Now, V and I, we like to watch the uh, big screen TV in the evening. And we used to have the uh, satellite dish, the DirecTV, you know, offers over 500 channels. Uh, but there's nothing worth crap to watch on there. Uh, so, finally dumped. I mean, I spent like over $1,000 a year on the satellite, and I, I just thought, why? What a waste of money. So we got rid of it. Now one of the things we like to do is watch YouTube videos. And there's a lot of opportunity out there for videos, as you all well know. Um... My videos are way down there at the bottom of the of the uh, uh, list, but uh, some of them are very popular. And there's also series on there that you can watch too. So one of the things that I've done is I bought this newer uh, computer. I made sure it had an HDMI port in it. And I went to Walmart and bought an HDMI cable. And I was able to plug it in on my computer and plug it right into the TV. So whatever I watch on the computer, it'll show up on the big screen TV. And V can watch it from her end of the room over there uh, where she likes to relax. Now, uh, the other day she found a pretty cool a series. that we It's a six-part series, and it's called the uh, Outlaw Chronicles. You can find it on YouTube. It's actually a, a History Channel program. And uh, we found it pretty interesting. We watched all six episodes of the thing. And uh, it, it I'm not going to give you all the details of the show itself, but uh, the, the program is, is basically about the Hells Angels. And as the story is told by George Christie Jr., who for three decades, over 30 years, was a uh, president of the Ventura County uh, Charter of the Hells Angels. Now, I'm not here to advocate uh, or to affiliate myself with any 1% club whatsoever. Uh, I'm not in a club now. I have had experience riding with 1% clubs, and I was a, a full-patched member of another club, which was not a 1% club. Uh, so I, you know, I, I have some experience in that world, so it, it, it interests me. Ever since I was a kid, though, I was enthralled with the motorcycle culture, the, the club culture. And uh, that, that kind of drew me into that as I got older. So this program was very interesting to me. But as the story is told by George Christie, now George Christie Jr. portrays himself to be the angel of the Hell's Angels in this series. Uh, where he paints Sonny Barger out to be the devil himself. So as the series unfolds, George of course tells all kinds of secrets that for years have been covered up by the Hells Angels because their their organization has been extremely secretive um, in fact uh, it would it was the absolute no-no to expose any information about the club whatsoever period and uh, George has stuck his neck out, and he's retired from the Hells Angels. He, he's no longer a club member, obviously. Uh, he walked out, uh, threw, threw his uh, cut down and walked out, uh, never to come back again. Now, that tell you that when you join these clubs, there's no easy way out, but apparently for some there is. Uh, it doesn't seem like he 
uh, found many problems in, in leaving the club. Now, what I found interesting, though, some of the comments he made about the club. Uh, number one, it, you got to know that the Hells Angels has chapters all over, char charters all over the world. They, they have oh, uh, somewhere around oh, over 460-some charters all over the world. And you have to imagine each one of these charters has its own president. Now, George, as I said, was the uh, founder and, and president of the Ventura County chapter. Uh, and he was very influ influential with the Hells Angels. In fact, he was noted to be like all practically the number two man under Sonny Barger. Um, but he says that each one of these charters, and it makes sense, being that they have, all have their own president, they all have their own personality too. So some charters follow the rules, and other charters don't follow the rules. Now the Hells Angels has a very strict code of, of conduct, a very strict code of rules that has to be followed. And as, as the story is exposed, some of these clubs didn't, or some of these characters in the clubs didn't. The other thing he went on to say was that not everyone in the club was involved in criminal activity. Just like, and I've talked about this before, whenever you have any kind of an organization, even if you're talking about a church group, there's always a bad apple in there. There's always somebody that's doing something they're not supposed to do. And the same with the with these uh, charters, these, these uh, club charters. And this goes for any club too. It could be Mongols, banditos, uh, outlaws, a any club, they all have the same issues. Uh, they lack, like, total leadership to keep the bond tight within the whole entire uh, organization. So you get these little groups that kind of want to drift off and do their own thing. They want to uh, involve themselves in criminal activity. So the law enforcement... Uh, instead of dealing with these people, you know, and singling them out, they decided they are going to uh, throw the whole club into the same basket. It's a criminal organization, they'd say. Well, George Christie argues this and says it's not a criminal organization. It's a, it's a good organization. It's a tight-knit organization. There's just some bad apples in here that have given it a bad name. It was interesting to hear that to me. It made sense to me because I've seen it in clubs before. If you haven't watched it, uh, give it a shot. It's called The Outlaw Chronicles. Uh, there's there's six episodes to it. They're, they run, I don't know, about an hour or maybe a little more uh, each one. And you can find it on YouTube. Very easily watch it on YouTube. Uh, but like I said, we, we plug... <laughs> plug the TV in to the computer and then you just uh, click the right uh, input it pops right up on the TV screen and we can watch some really cool shows so anyway that was kind of what I wanted to talk about today uh, very interesting to me uh, to hear some of those uh, things coming from Christy um, right now he's filming a uh, program. I don't know if it's a movie or a series or what, but he's over in Spain. He's actually residing there now, and he's like a a, a millionaire. He, he's his net worth is like over two million. He's doing very well for himself. Now this makes me scratch my head too. Okay, you're a dirtbag outlaw biker, a Hell's Angels member, no less, and now you're a millionaire. And that's all you've ever done with your life uh, is expose secrets and tell the stories that you've lived in that outlaw life. Yeah, it worked for him. Why didn't it work for me? <laughs> I know, I know. I'm not as famous as George Christie and probably never will be. But it just blows my mind how, you know, things like that can happen. People that don't really put the effort into, 
Well, I guess if you look at it this way, uh, he put a lot of effort into it. I mean, he he was involved in quite a lot, quite a lot of dirt. Um, as I know, as I said too, he always kind of uh, makes himself look like the angel, like. I tried to make peace with the other clubs, and Sonny Barger wouldn't have anything to do with it. I tried to uh, stop criminal activity. I tried to stop these guys from taking drugs. I tried to do this. I tried to, you know, tries to paint himself as a good guy. Um, how true that is, I don't know. I, I really don't know. But he's he's filling this other uh, uh, show now, and it'll be interesting to see when it comes out called the uh, unforgiven uh so and it's kind of based i think on the same kind of thing the underworld the the mafia type uh things that go on in the underworld of the outlaw motorcycle realm well that's all i got for you today uh thanks for watching uh, thanks for all your support for your prayers v's doing really well uh spent a couple days this week at the hospital with her and uh, she's getting good reports so we're we're happy about that we hope it continues and, and thanks to all your prayers for that too because i really uh know that that makes a big difference i do believe that with all my heart leave your comments down below thanks for watching guys until next time